Hey, welcome back to Cycling Unboxed, and today I've got my hands on the brand new Trek Madone. I haven't seen a single one of these on the road yet, so actually I'm very happy to come up and have a closer look. I will also be getting onto my opinions about the hole here and why I like it, because it's been getting a lot of stick from the media recently. So with that being said, let me bring you in for a closer look because there are a few updated features like the cockpit on this bike here. Now that we're much closer up, I want to talk to you about the first thing that I noticed and it's actually on the cockpit. So the depth of these bars are actually much shallower than the old Madone. The old Madone had a bit more depth to it, but actually for climbing, that's probably a lot nicer to hold these bars. So for people with smaller hands, I would imagine that would be much nicer. And even with my, I would say average size hands, it's actually quite a nice hold feeling around the bottom there. One thing to note about this bike as well about the handlebars is that most bars on bigger bikes like this one come with a wide, wide handlebar. Um, normally 44, but this one, it's only a 40, 400 millimeter width, basically. So it comes with a much narrower bar, which I think is a much better feature. The second thing that I actually noticed about this bike is actually the wheels. So these are the Pirelli race tires and they've got a 30 millimeter width to them. So these are actually the, of course, the standard wheels that it comes with. And as you can see, I think they fit the shape of even these big 30 millimeters very, very well. Much more than most tires would. So the actual wheels, the Bontrager wheels, seem to come with a nice updated position. The actual wheels themselves don't continue with that U shape that we're starting to see. It's still quite a V shape. But it's got lots of width around the front there. And the front and the rear wheels actually seem to present themselves pretty similarly quite like a strong v-shape but they got loads of width at the top here where they fit the tire this is the sram force model i'm not going to go into too much detail as other videos have gone into lots more detail about it of course it comes included with a quarter power meter and everything else about the sram is as you would expect so of course then we get to the actual hole itself so trek say that most people when they got the old madone they weren't really adjusting the iso speed and I think this is probably true. People would just set it and forget it and it would never be touched again. So personally, I actually believe that this system is a better system because there are now no moving parts, which means less things to go wrong and reduced weight on the bike itself. Because this was a system that people just set and forget. They left it as it was and they never changed it. So Trek might as well make it one bit of comfort that works for everyone. And then there's the overhang. It's not massive and I don't think Trek would have put a lot of money into it if they didn't think it would last and be very stable in the long term, like longevity of the bike. Another good thing about Trek is that if something does go wrong around here, it's a massive, massive company. So if you did start to get problems, I would imagine they would fix it up pretty quick for you. They'll probably send you out a new frame, which I've had happen with the old Madone with a friend before. I also really love this section of tube here where it kind of cuts in deeper, gets closer to the wheel for much longer than most bikes do. I think it probably adds to the aerodynamics of the bike. Then of course, finally is the paint job. We're gonna get a close enough of the silver in just one second, but I really love the black in the middle here because it kind of helps the silhouette of the bike. It kind of gives it a much more futuristic look and style to the bike as if there's no seat tube on there. Then if we're coming close to the paint job, it's just this really lovely silver matte there's not too much to it, but it's a really great looking bike. I'm not sure how it would hold up to scratches, but it's really good looking. One thing it is missing is this big Trek logo that we normally see down here. I don't know if that's gonna be something from the future that we're gonna see from Trek, but I actually like the big Trek logo down there. Unfortunately, I haven't got my weighing scale, so I can't weigh the bike in, but they should all be pretty similar. It's still the Trek Madone, it's still a fairly hefty boy. You adjust the seat post right here, and the risky thing about this is that there's only so much adjustment that you can get. So it's probably one of those bikes that you need to go sit on before you buy it, if you get the opportunity, just so you know you've got enough range in the seat post for your personal leg length. The size that we've got here is size 58, so it's actually my size, but it's not my bike. So this bike isn't quite set up for my geometry, even though it's my size, I'll probably have the saddle a little higher. And of course we've got loads of stack on the stem here, which is far too high at the moment. But it's another really comfortable feeling bike. It feels like it would fit me. And to be honest, if I had the money, I would probably buy one of these personally, especially after seeing it up close. I think the deep tubes and stuff still look really cool on this bike. I just think it's really nice looking. The Madone is advertised as a comfortable race bike, aero bike, and that comes partly from the tube now right here. 
and it was the ISO speed on the old bike as well. But I just like the geometry of this bike and I always have. So everyone, this has been my close up of the brand new Trek Madone. If you have any questions or have any comments, feel free to put them down below. What do you think about the new hole in this bike? And then if you want to see any other bike unboxings such as Canyons, I've got loads of them over here. So feel free to click on the link. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Cycling Unboxed. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.